What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're going to learn how to model curtains in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle just here on the ground like this. Um, in this case I'm going to draw a four foot by one foot rectangle, though it really doesn't matter what the size is because we're going to come in and mess with it with the scale tool anyway. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here with the arc tool and you're going to draw a series of arcs that just kind of alternate back and forth just like this. So you want them to just kind of arc up and then down and you want them to be kind of random sizes. So um, you want them to just really kind of vary. You know, and basically what you're doing is you're kind of simulating the way that a curtain comes in here and it arcs. So just like this and so you want to draw this in here and you want to make sure that it makes like a you want to make sure that it's kind of uninterrupted so these two faces are split in half just like this then once you do that what you're going to do is you're going to come in here with the push pull tool and you're going to extrude this shape up however high you want your curtains to be so in this case I'm going to extrude this up seven feet just like this so you can see how you've got kind of this uh, curving arcing face um, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to reverse the faces on this so that the white faces are facing out but then once you've done this you can come in here and you can erase out all these lines um, except for the ones on the face right here so you want to come in here and you want to erase this rectangle on the back side just like this. So and then once you've done that, you can come in here and you can see that you've got your kind of basic curtain shape in here. So and once you kind of have your basic shape, the next thing you want to do is you want to come in here and soften and smooth this face. And so all you're going to do to do that is to activate the eraser tool by tapping the E key. And then you want to hold control down and just drag it across this face just like this. And so what that's going to do is you can see how before, I'll undo this just so you can see again, this had a whole bunch of lines across the face of it. Well, when you soften and smooth those, what this is going to do is it's going to basically turn those lines into hidden geometry. Um, and not only will it turn those lines into hidden geometry, it'll also come in here. It'll kind of merge this into a single face just like this. So you can see how now this is all kind of one face and SketchUp takes it and kind of makes it look all similar. So instead of it being divided like it was before, it's all just a single face just like this. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're going to um, adjust the width of the top and the bottom of this shape. So you can see how if I come in here and I select everything and I activate the scale tool, I can click and drag back and forth like this. It's kind of a lot like actually, um, actually pulling the curtain across a window. You can see how it kind of straightens out just like this. Um, so you can do this to adjust the entire thing, but the other thing you can do is you can adjust the top and the bottom. So like if I drag a mouse across the line on just the bottom, so I just have this curved line selected, and then I activate the scale tool, I can click and drag to make the bottom part of this adjust while the top part stays the same. So there's actually two things you can do with this. So you can start off if you want to, and uh, you can kind of adjust this bottom piece, and then uh, you can just make a copy of this, probably using the Move tool, just like this. So just select the whole thing with the Move tool, and then uh, click and tap that Control key to activate Copy Mode. Well, then what you can do is you can flip this in place, just like this. So you can select the whole thing, and uh, you can use the Scale tool, um, while holding that control key to flip it about center. So you can flip it like this and then you can move this piece up to the top right here so that these faces, um, these faces intersect with each other just like this. Well then once you've done that you've got this full curtain shape in here but you can come in here and you can adjust this so that the top and the bottom are both uh, kind of uniform. And so by doing this, basically what you've got is you've got kind of the uh, look of a curtain that's kind of tied back right across the middle right here. So that's one way you can do that is you can come in here, you can select that, and then you can flip that piece. The other thing you could do if you wanted to is you could select this line and you could copy it up using the move tool just like this. So you could copy one up about right here and then you could copy another one right here and then you could just kind of select those 
just like this and then you could use the move tool on those to kind of move it across so instead of having to flip it you can kind of adjust like where that happens so if I move this line up and down right here then I came in here and I wanted this to be pulled back a little bit more um, you could basically come in here and as long as you have kind of those control lines right here you can really adjust this however you want it to adjust so you can come in here and really make this curtain look the way that you want it to look. So you can either have one that's wider at the top and narrower at the bottom, or if you didn't want to do that, then you could just have your curtain just like this. And I'm just going to, you can adjust the height by moving this up and down or by using the scale tool. And then um, you can kind of delete out those control lines if you want. So if you wanted a curtain that just kind of hangs flat like this, you could definitely just have one like this as well. So anyway, that gives you a whole bunch of different options for coming in here and creating curtains and stuff like that. You could also come in here um, with a material. So if you were to come in here and like, let's say you use kind of like a light blue material or something like that um, to color your curtain, what you could do is you could edit the, the opacity of the material. So you can see how as I drag this opacity down, I can kind of see through it. So you can create this kind of like sheer curtain look that allows some light through so that gives you some options as well for you to come in here and do that and if you really wanted to you could also come in here and model like a curtain rod and some rings up here stuff like that but these are just some ideas for you to come in here and for you to use in your models so anyway that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video leave a comment below let me know what you thought is this something you might see yourself using um, is there anything that you'd change about the way that I did this I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys uh, if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.